Hello, welcome. We're going to go over the simulation monitor today. This is what the monitor is going to look like when the simulation starts. And once you attach the ECG leads to the chest, you then touch when leads attach. So when you touch there, you're then going to get an ECG tracing. When you get the ECG tracing, you also get a respiratory rate based on the rise and fall of the chest and the leads. For SpO2, you grab the SpO2 sensor, attach it to the patient, and you automatically get a SpO2 reading. The next one here is end tidal CO2. That's not used for every simulation, but if it is, you'll have it available. Once it's attached, you just um, touch there and you're going to get a reading for that as well. The last thing on this screen is the blood pressure cuff. So once the blood pressure cuff is attached, you can touch the red area there. And then there's a button down here that says start, stop. Once you press it, you'll hear it kind of beep and you'll see that the cuff is inflating. It takes a little while, it's not instantaneous. So just give it a little while to pump up and then deflate and it will give you a reading. And that's pretty much how to run this functionality here. Once this gives me a blood pressure, I'll go in and show you how to set it to do an auto blood pressure every so many minutes, whatever you decide. Also on this screen, you have these buttons here that give you main setup and main screen. And then over here, you have your silence buttons as well. All right, now that we have a blood pressure there, if I were to click on that again, I can come here and it's um, we can do repeat time, manual or auto. So if I click here on auto, now it's auto for two minutes. I can change the um, how often it, it does a blood pressure right there on that repetition time. All right, so now it is set to do auto every two minutes. Additionally, here you have these arrows, and dependent on the simulation, you may have a time where you can see radio radiology reports, lab reports, 12 lead EKG. So you would just press those and it would give you what you need. Also, there are some times where your orders for your patients might be presented on this page as well. And that's just some additional information that um, they may present to you and it will flash on the screen. If you're ever having an issue running the, the monitor, um, just read what's on the screen, do what it says, and if you still have any questions, you can always just ask the control room.